Well, French police have surrounded two suspects some 40 kilometers northeast of Paris in the manhunt for the killers of 12 people at the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. At least one person is believed to have been taken hostage. Police have cordoned off an area where the suspects are believed to be hiding. Earlier, police had chased a vehicle at high speed along the nearby A2 motorway towards Paris. This as authorities appear to be closing in on the two brothers suspected of the Charlie Hebdo killings. Police and anti-terrorist forces blocked all entries to the town of Dermotin on Gula. Residents have been asked to remain at home and children to be kept at school. The suspects, both in their early 30s, had already been under police surveillance. Well, that manhunt has been ongoing for a few hours now. Uh, our correspondent, Jack Parrock, has the latest development for us. He joins me now on the line from Paris. Jack, we understand there is a massive police presence. Those suspects being surrounded. Almost certainly today's hostage takers are the Charlie Hebdo shooters. Yes, indeed. So it seems um, confirmed that the police have now surrounded the place where these, where these two men are, Shreef and um, Saeed Kawaji, who they've been chasing for over 48 hours now. This has been a manhunt that has taken them right up to the north of France and now down just on the outskirts of Paris, in a, just a small town just outside of Paris. Uh, there's an enormous police presence. There's helicopters in the air over there. Um, and we've heard that some gunshots have been fired and that some people may be injured. That's unconfirmed reports as yet. Um, but we, we know that there's a standoff with at least one hostage uh, with these men. And clearly uh, they're, they're now uh, trying to talk to the men and uh, diffuse the situation. Uh, and uh, this, this, the events will now unfold uh, in that area of Dan Martin. Uh, Jack, an another hostage situation, uh, situation. The police SWAT teams are active, and we, we understand that the suspects have said that they are prepared to die as, as martyrs. So this could get very serious. Is there any indication as to how the SWAT teams are handling this to get people out of there alive? Well, we assume that the France's best negotiators will be on this, uh, this case and trying to talk these men out of, obviously, any more killings. But anybody who's seen any of the videos of uh, the, the Charlie Hebdo shooting here in central Paris um, will see that these men uh, clearly have a, a very uh, low opinion of life. They, they were, the, the brutal mate black attack shows that clearly they, they are not afraid of, of extreme violence and to be involved in that. So it's going to be a very cool few hours, perhaps, and, or however long this takes, to try and, you know, cause as much, uh, as little loss of life or injury as possible while this standoff is ongoing. And Jack, you are still in Paris. What's the feeling um, this morning now as these developments unfold? Yesterday we saw a lot of solidarity. Has, has much changed now with this manhunt going on? So clearly, this um, event is what's on everybody's lips now in this in this town, and uh, the security presence has been so high that it's hard to ignore. Uh, you know, the the, the, the the events following the Charlie Hebdo attack. Now, everybody wants this resolved, obviously, and um, so everybody's just hoping to see that these men are taken into taken into custody by the police, and and that you know, that, that there is no more loss of life as, as part of this, this, uh, this standoff with them. And that's really the mood here now. It's gone from kind of a solemn morning to a real hope now that this can be resolved. Because up until now, there's been a lot of misinformation. The men haven't been, been you know, the police haven't quite had, had the hold on the men that they have now we're seeing. So really it's hoping that this is going to be resolved clearly as soon as possible and as safely as possible with as little loss of life as possible. All right, Jack, thank you very much. Our correspondent in Paris, Jack Parra.